I hope you guys fucking enjoyed that. I dented the shit out of my door. All right, so today's the day that I've been fucking putting off all fall. It's time to fucking tear this thing down. Pretty much, the deal here is take the engine out, clean the engine, clean the engine bay, maybe stitch weld the engine bay, paint the engine bay, clean every little piece of bullshit that is on the 1UZ, fix a whole bunch of gaskets, try not to make it fucking leak, because look at what I have to fucking deal with every fucking day. Don't fucking fall, I swear to God. I have to have this fucking... Look how much oil this thing fucking leaks. So it's pretty much just gonna be like an engine refresh. <coughs> I bought a new ECU. It fixed the misfire for three days. I don't know why, but it ran fucking fantastic for like the first two or three days, and then out of nowhere it just started spitting and sputtering like it used to. So I don't know if I'm just m melting my ECUs or I don't know. So once the engine goes back in, it is going to be sent to someone else to get the wiring looked at. I don't want to tear this thing down. I, I know as soon as I like take something off of it that won't make it run, I'm gonna need to fucking get it out of the garage to fix something. And then I'm gonna have to push it. I don't want to do this. I just need to fucking get the engine out and then get it all back together before, I think, like, March. So I'm gonna put a fucking GoPro on my forehead because that's easy as shit and just start taking things apart. You wanna see some fucking magic? Watch this shit. Ah, look at that. Fucking magic. So I don't have the setup to my phone or anything, so I don't know if you're actually able to, like, see what the fuck I can see. So, um... Hope for the best and uh, enjoy the really shitty camera angle. I'm just gonna start by taking the body kit off and putting it downstairs because pretty much every part that I take off of this thing that I don't need, I'm just gonna put in my basement so that I can keep as much of the garage cleared as possible. <laughs> you guys probably can't see shit. No, fuck off. Uh, there's another one. Fuck, where am I gonna put all this shit? Right here, right here is fine. It's filled with so much shit. That's where her titty should be at. If she had any! Come on, you cunt. Jesus fucking Christ. Man, there's a clip. Yeah, you probably can't see a goddamn thing. Ugh. This one's gonna be fun. Motherfucker. Oh shit. Damn it. Body kit, good. And if you don't remember, my back bumper's in a million pieces on the side of the highway somewhere. God, this thing looks like shit without a body kit. Is this even fucking recording? Yeah, sorry. Ugh, this is disgusting. I don't know why I'm dooming myself with the smallest ratchet set kit of all time. That's another project I need to work on is uh, building a new hood. Because I want to keep as much of the skeleton as I can. Because not having one sucks because it's super fucking floppy. But uh, I need to build a hood that uh, has a cool scoop in it that's not a fucking paint pan. Aw, oh, Fuck my back! Ow! Fucking hell! Oh! <sighs> okay. Oh shit. <sighs> really don't want to try to fit that motherfucker down the stairs. Like, I really don't know like where to even start because uh, I don't have anywhere to put the coolant. There's no reason for me to drain. Oh, I should drain the oil because I'm doing the oil pan. But the big thing here, the reason why I'm not diving too deep into it at the moment is I do not own a jack. I own that piece of shit, but I'm not using that. When I moved into this house, I didn't think about how I don't actually own 
a proper Jack and Jack stands, and I've always used my dad's. So now, I don't fucking have one. If I can't get under the car and get the drive shaft out and get the tranny bolts loose. So I really don't even know, like, ugh, I'm gonna have to buy one. So today, I guess I can just start undoing some wiring maybe? Like, there's not even much I can fucking do. I don't know, I'll just start taking shit apart. Speedo cable, or speedo cable, what the fuck am I saying? Throttle cable. Oh shit, right through here. Should probably put these back in the hood. There was a, uh, a quote that I read a while back that I thought was kind of fucking cool. Pretty gay, but you guys might enjoy it. Saying something about how some people, some people have blood running through their veins and one, some people have gasoline running through their veins. Fuck's going on in there? Pretty much what that means is some people have oil running through their veins means they're mechanics. They enjoy working on things and then some people have gasoline running through their veins, so that means they enjoy driving their car. Some people, I guess, are a fucking two-stroke and enjoy both. Me, I fucking hate working on cars. I don't know why people enjoy this. I mean, I can definitely understand the fun in doing cool modifications, but actually putting in fucking time and effort into your, into your car, as nice as it is to say that, yeah, I fucking did that. It fucking sucks. Why, th there's nothing fun about this. I don't want to pull this engine out. I spent so much time putting it in. Now I'm just going to fucking pull it out? I fucking hate cars. That was a stupid analogy. This, this car's stupid. I'm stupid. I mean, I guess that's not entirely true. I don't, like, completely despise working on this thing, but I would much rather be inside drinking a fucking glass of chocolate milk watching shitty YouTube videos than uh, pull a fucking engine out. Spent so much fucking time putting this thing in and I'm just fucking just yanking it out. Well, what I'm doing right now is I have to take this fucking plastic cover off because my temperature, coolant temperature gauge wire somehow is inside of there and won't come out. I really have no fucking clue if you guys can see the goddamn thing that I'm doing. I think that you can. I don't know. You will have to see. So, some other updates. Um, if you've ever wondered why it takes me so long to edit and upload videos, well, for one, I'm a lazy piece of shit. And for two, my computer sucks. So, the computer that I own is old as fuck, but for a spec list, it is... An i5-3570K for the processor. GTX, I think it's a 780 super clock for a graphics card. Terabyte hard drive. An old ass piece of shit Cooler Master case. And, uh... What else? I don't know. It's old and it has a lot of shit on it. And, um... Pretty much it doesn't... It doesn't run Adobe Premiere very well. So, uh... It takes me a while, and I have a lot of issues where I'll have hard drive issues or just some sort of exporting issues that just cost me a lot of time when I'm trying to upload a video. Like uh, the Japan video, I uploaded that three fucking times, but I kept having issues because uh, my hard drive did not want to fucking cooperate with Adobe Premiere. So this tax return season, I'm actually gonna fucking do something worth a shit and uh, use my tax money to build a new PC. I really don't know what specs I'm gonna go with just yet, but uh, I'm definitely fucking building one. And I game, I play video games a lot on my computer. Play a lot of PUBG, fucking Japanese shitty rhythm games, and racing simulators. So if you didn't know, I'm a big guy on uh, 
on a set of Corsa. I fucking love that game. Been playing it for like three or four years now. I play it a lot. And uh, my computer runs a set of well, but uh, I've always wanted to stream uh, or at least just record me playing a set of because I have a lot of friends that play and we have a great fucking time. And I feel like people hopefully would enjoy watching us play. So I've always wanted to, to do that, record it and post it on the YouTube channel or something like that. So uh, with building a new PC, I should be able to do that a lot easier because uh, beforehand, my computer cannot run shit when it comes to recording. It just comes out super shit quality. So new PC, things will be a lot fucking better. I really should be taking pictures of everything. Yeah, before I start taking off like all the vacuum lines and shit, I'm gonna take pictures. Pro tip, take pictures of your engine before you tear it apart because a lot of the vacuum lines and fuel lines and other random shit, you might get them mixed up after, you know, like three or four months of not working on your car. You might not remember where everything goes. So taking pictures makes things a lot easier when you're trying to put it back together. I'm gonna take these grounds off. There was another thing. Oh, Christmas is, uh, what the fuck are my tools? Uh, Christmas is coming up. It is actually, I think this weekend. Oh, I almost threw up. Christmas is this weekend. And uh, I have no idea what I'm gonna get. Of course, you know, I have, I have parents that wanna buy me things and I have no idea what I might get, but I pretty much just asked for garage tools because uh, moving into the new house with no tools fucking blows dicks. So uh, I don't know why I'm not taking that side off instead of this side. Not having tools blows dicks. So uh, asking for tools is definitely gonna be nice. But uh, my grandfather actually, um, my grandpa's a fucking G. I love that dude. So he, came to one of my drift events. Sorry if you're not gonna be able to see anything. I am working on something, but I'm telling a story, so fucking listen. So my grandpa, he actually, ah, fuck, sorry guys. My grandpa actually came to one of my drift events, uh, which is pretty big for me. Um, we don't get to see each other very often. Um, he's a very busy man, and uh, he's never really got to see what I do with my life. We see each other on, you know, like Christmas and Thanksgiving, but other than that, I don't get to see him often. And he doesn't, he didn't really know a lot about me, but, uh, he surprised me and he came to one of my drift events. I think it was D-Day 4 actually. And, uh, he wanted to see what I did. He wanted to see what I do with my life and how I have fun. So he got there, he got to see what was going on. He thought it was fucking cool as shit. And he brought his wife and I gave both of them ride alongs and they fucking had a blast. They enjoyed it, they had so much fun, and they wanted to stay longer, but D-Day 4, it was fucking hot outside. It was sunny, there was no shade, it was hot as fuck. So they, over, like, they like overheated, like they couldn't fucking handle being out in the uh, sun for so fucking long, so they ended up actually going home because they couldn't handle it. So, Christmas comes up. We always have Christmas with my grandfather the week before, so it was two days ago. And he's like, I got you something for Christmas, which I was like, oh, okay, cool. I didn't ask for anything. You didn't have to do that. And he's like, and I think you're going to like it. And he's like, it has a theme. I was like, all right, cool. So he pulls out this massive fucking box, this tall, skinny box. I'm like, what the fuck could you have bought that's in this tall, skinny box? And I open it up, and it's this. It's a canopy. It's a fucking canopy. It's, how big is it? It's covered up. It's 10, 10 foot by 8 foot. So uh, I can have that. So when I go to events, I can pop that bitch out and uh, have shade. And then he's like, there's another part to it. And he rolls out a fucking a cooler. This cool ass cooler over here. He gave me this cooler and two lawn chairs. And he's like, and he's like so next time I come down, I'm going to be comfortable and we can stay longer. Which, that was awesome. I, I fucking love that. That was amazing of him. He didn't have to do that, but I'm really excited for him to come to more of my drift events because it's really fucking cool, actually, you know, showing your family what you do for fun. I don't know. I'm fucking gay. I'm sorry. But, uh, anything else that's gone, going on? I feel like you guys might be bored just, like, watching the montages of, like, fast-forwarding of me working on the car and... Uh, 
Oh, I'm gonna bust my fucking knuckles on this. I feel like you guys get bored of the montage of just the music playing and fast forward to me, you know, taking bolts out and shit. I feel like that's boring. I kind of hate watching that unless it's something cool. But with just fucking taking shit off an engine so you can take it out is fucking boring. So I think I'm gonna keep to this uh, this type to where I I, I talk to you. We guys get to we get to have this one-on-one, uh, -on -one, get to talk more. I don't get to make a lot of videos. There's there's not a lot that goes on in my life. I mean there is, but not a lot of shit that I actually want to pull my camera out and film. So I feel like throughout the this winter's teardown, if I do this to where I'm t I'm talking throughout working on stuff, I feel like it'd be a lot more entertaining and get to know more about me. When I have friends over, get more get to know more about them. There's another ground somewhere, and I know it. Haha, -ha, I see it. It's over here by the fuel rail. Uh, I'm so fucking upset that I'm melting ECUs. So, the thing behind that is, like, I didn't really expect that to happen. Because, um, ever since the cars ran, like, been running inside the S13, it's, uh, it's misfired. It always has. So, when I was trying all these different things to get rid of the misfire, I was thinking, like, you know, one part is bad, and once that one part is fixed, everything will be Gucci. And so, once after I replaced literally fucking everything, except for the ECU, I thought, you know, once I put the ECU in and it fixed it, I thought everything was going to be Gucci, perfect, everything's amazing. I wasn't expecting, you know, I was going to have some type of issue to where I would melt my ECU or whatever happened. But uh, pretty much why I'm expecting it to be my ECU is being melted is because when uh, the original guy wired this engine in for me, he uh, he has the ECU on a constant. That's why I have the kill switch because I would just end up fucking just killing my battery, keeping it on throughout the night. So uh, yeah, I actually had to put a fucking kill switch on the car to keep the ECU, which I think it's the ECU, but something's powered on, draining my battery. And I, I tested it out by leaving the car without flipping my switch for like an hour. And I came back and I was feeling out the engine, feeling everything out. And the only thing that was hot was my ECU. So somehow my ECU was getting power when the ignition was off. I'm wondering if it's getting too much power or something. But what I need to do is send both of these ECUs, now that I have the old one and the new one, I need to send it to somebody and have them crack it open and look at it. Because these engines are known for shitty computers. They're, the, the computers are known for the capacitors leaking and then causing a whole bunch of fucking issues. There's another ground. In a shitty ass spot. I guess next I could do fuel lines, but I really don't want to. Because I really don't want fuel all over my hands. Maybe I'm just being a bitch. But having fuel on your hands is not a good time. Okay, I'm just going to tie you up. Shove you right here. Yeah, so I, uh, back on the gaming part, I hope you guys would enjoy that. I mean, I've always wanted to not necessarily be a video game channel, but to throw up a couple video game related videos every now and again because that is a big part of my life and something I do every single night and I feel like you guys should you know see what I do that's other than fucking working on this piece of shit 24-7 but if uh, any of you guys play PUBG on PC not fucking console if you got any of you guys play PUBG and you want to play PUBG or a set of Corsa hit me up fam uh I really don't know how you can really hit me up. I guess the YouTube comments? I really don't know. I never really thought it through. But uh, hit me up. Let's play. Because uh, I need more friends to play with. Because my normal friends, uh, they're cool. Everything's awesome. But uh, sometimes we need a fourth. So having that extra dude would be cool. So if any of uh, my, my gaming friends are watching this... Fuck all of you. <laughs> I love all you guys. You guys are okay, I guess. I need a bolt. I'm trying to find a bolt that I can shove in my fuel line so then fuel doesn't just fucking go everywhere. There's a fucking spider in here. That's not cool. 
I need a, oh, that actually, that works out perfectly. I needed this bolt. I guess you guys, this would be kind of cool. I don't know if you guys would be able to read it, but uh, my buddy Dakota bought me this amazing Christmas present. It says sparkly ass sticker that says, fueled by anime titties. <laughs> I thought that'd be perfect right under the hood where nobody too important can see it. Ooh, gas cap. Release. Ah, see? I'm fucking smart. Before pulling your fuel lines off, you take your gas cap out to relieve pressure. This is the thing that sucks. I miss my gas door so much because you had that little fucking compartment you put your gas cap at, but that's gone. The uh, damage. It's a lot of damage. Uh, the damage from... Uh, my recent street accident. I really, st I still don't know how I'm going to address it. Uh, oh, come on, you cunt. Ah, oh, fuck. Of course, getting fuel all over me is fucking usual. I really don't know how I'm going to assess the damage. Um, pretty sure I'm just going to bring the car to someone and uh, have them use a tack hammer on it. Because honestly, using a tack hammer, you can get most of this shit pulled out and get most of this shit pulled out right here. Ugh. I don't know. That's a lot of fucking money. I found one guy that really wants to do it. Or not really. That said he would do it. But he said, uh, he works like 60 for like 60 bucks an hour. And he said it's going to be like a 20 hour job. 10 to 20 hour job. And if you could do fucking math, that's a lot of money. A lot of money that I don't want to spend. That's not the grounds that I'm looking for. What am I doing? That's that's too much money that I want to spend to uh, get that fixed. I kind of want to get it fixed all the way back to complete OEM. Like to where it looked like before I fucking hit a goddamn metal sign. But I don't know. It's not really that important to me. The car is going to get beat up. And I don't want to put a lot of money into cleaning it up just for it to get fucking demolished again. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I might just have them work on it a little bit, make it look a little nicer than it does now, and call it a heyday. I don't know yet. I'm definitely not excited about painting this engine bay, and I'm fucking half tempted on not painting it because I'm lazy. I really wish I did have more content to film. There's like honestly just not a lot that goes on, so there's not a lot to film. And a lot of times, if there's some some small shit that's going on with the 240 or the Miata. That needs to be fixed. Half the time, I just wait until the weekend and go over to Tyler's house and have him fix it for me. So it's like almost fucking pointless to film it because I actually don't even work on it myself. Yeah, sorry. I don't work on my own car. I do most of the time. I mean, sometimes. But um, literally half the shit done on this car, you can thank Tyler Greathouse. Because he's the only motherfucker that gives a shit. Well, and Kenoki, he, he helps. It's more, more or less Alex is moral support. Let's call him that. Alex is moral support. Ah! ah fucking hell! Fucking shit! Oh, fuck you. My finger hurts so bad. It's because I need to cut my fucking thumbnail. Oh my god, that hurts. Swing you through here. I'll give you the good old blue skidoo we can too. Ah. Oh. I guess one thing that I'm dreading the most about pulling this engine out is probably the exhaust. That's gonna suck a lot. And the engine mounts. And the fluids. And the whole concept of pulling my engine out. That fucking sucks. Alright everybody, that's gonna fucking finish it for this day. I didn't really do shit. I really don't care to do shit. But I need to get this engine out. So, I'll see you next time.